I'm Open Boosters from the Open Boosters channel. And I'm Warwick Davis on the Open Boosters channel. And we're not opening any boosters right now. We, no, we're not. We're not, we haven't got any boosters to open? No, we don't. We don't. I didn't what's, bring any. What's your favorite booster you've ever opened? The Alpha Lotus Starter. Oh my goodness. Oh, yes. wow. That was yes. one hell of a booster. It was, it was. We got the Alpha Lotus. We got the Tropical Island. It's a, it's a $200,000 card. Twenty thousand. Yeah, when I yeah. A card. A card. Two hundred thousand dollars. Well, here's something that's worth slightly less than five dollars. My signature. Priceless. Opening is always priceless, and this is priceless to me. Thank you very much. Thank nice to meet you. Thank See you so much. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Open Boosters. We're going to be opening the Arabian Nights pack. But if you saw that opener, Warwick Davis. That was a great opener, right? There it is. Right there. If you don't know who he is, I, I really don't understand how you could not know who he is. Wicked from Star Wars. Willow. I mean, come on. And then uh, Griff Hook in Harry Potter later on. So those are some of the main ones that uh, everybody knows him from. But Willow number one you know and uh it was such great to actually meet him but i'll talk about that in a few minutes this is priceless just like my openings are always priceless here on open boosters but uh we'll be getting back to that in a few minutes right now right now we're going to be opening up arabian nights here it is arabian nights for warwick davis and i think that's going to be fantastic all right this is a $2,500 pack and we're hoping to get a Bazaar Baghdad which would be a large money but we already opened a Bazaar Baghdad so it's very unlikely that we'll get it. We'll probably get one of the other minor characters. Hopefully we get an Old Man of the Sea. That'd be kind of nice too. Um, not as valued but it'll be kind of fun. Alright, so here we go. A Raimi Nice Booster Pack. Ah, so few of these are open left. I have, I only have one that's out of the loose I have to either pick up some more or something. It's only eight tradable cards of glory. But, still fantastic, nonetheless. Alright, there's our Desert Twister. Desert Twister. Alright. Destroy any one card. Wow, well, okay, we got, an Ith we got a good one, Ithram Freed. That's good, that's good. Nice, nice, there. Alright, if bit thirsty or Freed. Grey Ogre, these are the two big cards of it. I mean, Gazbon Ogre, I'm sorry. I'm mispronouncing. I was very nervous during the uh, actual actual thing, and I'll, I'll talk about it. Gosman Ogre, there we go. Ah, Rook Egg, very nice Rook Egg there. Army of Allah, so good. Metamorphosis, so nice, a great card. I love this one. Bird Maiden, and Hosgon Ogres. All right, there they are. Look at these artworks. They're fantastic. Amazingness, the Bird Maiden. All dark though, all dark. I was hoping for some lights. Metamorphosis is fantastic. So good. Ah, this one, not so much. <laughs> but, this would be our Biggest of the money cards. I'm not sure how much it is, but I'll scan it and I'll be right back. I know we have a TCG player app. Everyone likes to do the TCG player app, and I'll be right back. All right, so we got $186.59 worth of cards. Ah, the craziness of opening a $2,000 to $2,500 pack. And the, but opening here on Open Boosters is always priceless because you get to relive the moments and relive the memories. It's so much fun. All right, so hit the like button, subscribe, make a comment, and we're going to go ahead and talk. I'm going to flip the camera around and talk about uh, meeting up with Warwick Davis. So awesome. All right, so as you saw at the beginning, I met Warwick Davis. Ah, the craziness. So priceless. I'm just saying. That's fantastic, right? I'm going to frame that because I actually can honestly say I worked with Warwick Davis. No, I can't really say that, I guess. But it was so fun. He actually, we actually went on a cruise ship when Warwick Davis was there. That was just an unexpected pleasure, you know? Um, when we got there, we actually did see him, but didn't really believe that it was him on the ship when we first boarded, right? Because we, we actually saw him, and uh, it's highly unlikely, right? We, but we only saw them like for like maybe a half a millisecond before they, they distracted us and said, hey, you know, give us your information and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, 
you know, when you see someone for only a fraction of a second, you're like, maybe, but highly unlikely. But then we uh, moved one of our dinners from late seating to early seating, and then he was there. And so you can get a really good look. You're like, oh, well, there you go. That's Warwick Davis. How about that? With his family. That's, it's not a convention. Don't go over. <laughs> Yeah, because if it was a convention, I'd go over and shake his hand. But since it's not a convention, can't do that. He's on a vacation. That was fun. Um, but there he was, just hanging out, chilling with his family. And I thought that was great. So, uh, well, we didn't go over. And I was like, well, probably won't get to shake his hand. But then it happened. The last day they said, hey, he's going to do a talk. What? That's awesome. And an autograph section. What? That's even better. Because then it's like a convention I can meet him. That's fantastic. This is the best trip ever. So yeah, I got to meet him and it's 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 just fantastic. Well, he was on stage. You know, he came down, he did high fives. I was actually in the second row back and he's running by and I hand high fived him right before he ate the popcorn. <laughs> he ate somebody's popcorn from somebody's bucket. Oh man, that was, that was fantastic. And uh, then uh, let's see. He did the he did some uh, the cell. I can't. I couldn't videotape it because I wasn't sure whether I could put it up on YouTube. So I chose not to videotape any of it because if you videotape it, you might be tempted later on. So you know that's why I choose not to videotape things that I'm not sure if I'm supposed to. But anyways, it was good because he did a selfie thing, right? So he's gonna go run down the run down the uh, aisle and take as many selfies as with anybody as possible. I didn't get a selfie, but I did take a picture of other people getting selfie because it was just fun and you could use your camera. <laughs> so I did that. Um, you should be able to see it on your screen if I spliced it in. I'm sure I have by now. Uh, then uh, the autograph session came next and it was fantastic. Everybody was standing in line. Everyone was pretty excited, pumped, couldn't wait to see them and meet them and that kind of stuff. Oh, so many people in that line. It was huge. Huge. All right. So we're in line, and eventually it's our turn. And uh, Amy goes first, and uh, she gets her picture taken. Um, uh, and then she films for me. Um, and uh, so that was, you know, uh, I, I just told him about uh, that I had a YouTube channel. And it's called Open Boosters, and he asked me about it. And, I told him because I, I oh I'm always hoping I'm always hoping they know about Magic the Gathering anybody I talk to you know because I get I go to conventions and I meet other celebrities and I ask them they know Magic the Gathering and he did not he didn't know anything about it but that, when he said all right let's go ahead and film something and I was like okay but he I think he could tell that I was extremely nervous even talking to him. And he, 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 he ran the show. I'm pretty sure. I mean, that's just, it was amazing. Um, cause my brain at that moment, when he said, let's film something, what my brain went, <laughs> I was not expecting him to say that. No one says that. Um, so I was stunned. So Amy was filming and that was, that was incredible. So she started filming. And, you know, it was just, you know, she, she was just, I mean, I still can't believe it. I mean, he, he just, you know, he's, he's just, he asked me about the best pack. And I was just like, oh my goodness. <laughs> he actually talked to me and we were actually filming and he's actually on the show. That's, it blew my mind. And, uh, wow, you know. And it's just incredible that it actually all transpired. I just, I mean... I was I was blown away. I didn't even know what to say. And I I didn't have to do anything because he just took over. Because <laughs> it was good, you know. Uh, and my expression is opening is always priceless, and this will this will always be priceless to me. All right, and that's fantastic. Oh, amazingness! And I just can't believe it. It was the best. Uh, all right, I think that's it. Oh, I I probably should show the black lotus that I was talking about. That's. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. Here's the card. The Alpha Black Lotus. Still have it. Still fantastic. $200,000 card. Easy. Crazy curses. Look at the subgrades. Oh my goodness. The better the subgrades, highest you can get is 10. Look at those subgrades. Craziness. 
And then we got the tropical island right here that came along with it. Oh my goodness. And that opening pretty much made my channel. Fantastic. It was a big push. Boom! It made it explode. All right. So, but, you know, meeting Warwick Davis, completely priceless and completely amazing. And I hope you hit the like button, subscribe, and make a comment. Ah, oh, so fun. And I'll talk to you again on the next one.